Hey guys, welcome to another One Piece figure review. This time I'm gonna be reviewing the, the Mega House POP of Fujitora, the Admiral. And as you can see here, I'm showing you guys the box. This one is a kind of like a big box. Here's the front of the box. Let me show you the top part. Let me show you this side. The other side. And it's a pretty heavy box. Here's the here's the back. And this is the first time I try unboxing this figure. Seems as Fuji Tora and only it's like a static figure. So we're gonna find out and well just hang on a, hang on a second I'll show you the the inside of the box and the box the plastic box so hold on okay here's Fujitora outside the box and as you can see it doesn't really have any extra hands extra heads or anything just him with his sword and that's about it one thing I noticed is that it has like a like an instruction manual there and there I can't show it to you because it's kind of heavy let me see if I can rotate this it has this cape there and let me show you the inside of the box these are the box. I really like this one. Seems like a stone floor showing Fujitora on its only pose. I really like this. They this thing has a inside of the box. Let's see if I can yeah, I could rotate it. See, he has like an instruction manual, little instruction. I, I guess how to put the the sword oh. now let's unbox this this admiral and I'll show it to you okay guys here's Fujitora like well it's not actually like out of the box I had to put the the sword on his hands and I'm calling maybe that you're gonna tell me well it's actually like a cane or a walking stick but it's actually his sword so I'm gonna call it sword and as you can see this is how it how it looks out of the box it doesn't have the cape on the cape is separately that you can put it later what surprised me from this figure was the following one um, it had plastic here which out and the hands right which I think is obvious because you had to remove them if, if you want to put the sword separately what I did I just put it from the top and pass it through just align the hands but what surprised me was that you can actually deattach this arm it has like a circular peg so be careful but you can actually do it I don't know why they did it like that maybe to maybe they were planning to do accessories I don't know but I just wanted to let you know so let me do a quick turn for you Tora I'll do the base after I like the figure overall it would be nice if we had the I don't know different different pose or an attack pose or something like that but it doesn't have it so but here you have it here's the Admiral Fujitora so I'm gonna do now a, a close-up on this pose and then later on I'm gonna do the I'm gonna put the cape which I'm which I'm gonna call second pose because actually that could be a second pose because there's like a 
attachment to open the sword so you can see the actual sword so hold on and let me let me show you guys the, the close-up okay here you go here's the close-up for Fujitora you can see I'm showing you the head it's actually it's pretty nice I'm gonna I'm gonna do a close-up on the face after I finish with this so you can see it see the scars and everything I like the way they did the, the head before when they did the the what's it called the like prototype or something like that I didn't like it at all the, the, the head was like a super super fat head so I didn't like it but I think they nailed it with this one here's the the base it says Port of Pirates, and then it's Fujitora Hisho, and it says Marines. So let me do a little turn. You can see the hands. The whole thing is pretty nice. I like it. They even put some underwear <laughs> if you look under. Fujitora light cape. The thing I didn't like is that this thing is a hard plastic one, so it makes the it makes the the figure super heavy. I like the details on the sandals and the, the nails and everything. That's pretty good. And also the cape that comes with Fujitora is super big. I mean super big, super heavy. It's kind of like a, not as heavy as the one that was Elster's kit, but for example, uh, I was doing some because I wanted to find out. This actual figure, I think it was like uh, 529 grams, 0.5 kilograms if you want a conversion, or it was like a 1.1 pounds. But the cape was surprisingly 319 grams. 0.31 kilograms so that's like a point seven. I think it was a 0.78 kilograms I mean pounds so for me that's super heavy for a cape you're gonna see the cape in a little bit uh, well here's the here's the close-up let me see if I can remove the uh, I don't think I can let me show you the, the head up and close hold on Okay, here's Fujitora's face. Like I was telling you, they actually nail it with this, with this hat. It's not big. It's not small. Like, I really, really like this face. And if you didn't know, because he's flying, that's why he has the white, white eyes. But for me, he's not really blind because he can see, he can fight, and everything. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's actually blind, but he can actually see with power. So here it is. That's the circle pack. So now, I guess I'll show you the second pose, Fujitora. So hold on. Okay, I wanted to do a close up on the on the actual cape of Fujitora. It's actually heavy, like I was telling you, like 0.3 kilograms. And I don't know if it's heavy because see, see how it how it is. It has the the actual cape, the white one, but then he has like a kind of like a sweater or something underneath that, and it's purple. So I don't know if it if that is why it's it's heavy, but I was expecting the other one. Well, the other, well, it's the same material, but a, light, a lighter one, like on BBs, or I don't know which one. I think, I can't remember. I think Zoro has a, yeah, I think Zoro has a different one. The, the film C edition. So here it is, here's the cape, so. Um, let me put it on so you can see the second pose of Fujitora. 
Okay, here's the second pose of Fujitora and to be able to do that thing with the Thor it's the once you remove this top part of the Thor it comes with this little thing that you have to remove so you can put a bigger little thing there so it can show you a little bit of the sword and also the figure comes with this thing that you put I think it's really it's kind of like the same thing like in Zoro and Kit you just put it there on the cape I guess to give a little more effect or something to be able to hold it something like that but I didn't put it right now it's harder for me to to move it, move it around and you kind of I tried to do the, the pose of the of the box where the floor is aligned vertically but it was a pain in the butt so I just leave it like this I don't think it's a very bad pose and I think I messed up the, the cave because this doesn't really move but for example you can leave it like that let me see if I can move it that one's way better, I guess. The girls tell you this one's pretty nice. I really like it. Let me give you a, a little 360 of the figure so you can see it. I was telling you I have my doubts on this figure with the prototype but once I saw it and opened it I really like it so I guess the only thing I need to do now is to do a close up so you can see it up and close and I'll do my final com final comments so hold on okay here's the second post close up for Fujitora like I said this one is pretty nice. The the detail on the actual figure is, is pretty good. I think this is my my second favorite admiral now. My favorite I think I, I have to say that it's a kainu just because of the value you know that that's a character that Luffy needs he doesn't he doesn't have to fight he has to fight and defeat so he can get some revenge so um, after that one I think it's this one well my actually the one that I actually like more is Aokiji but this on the film C version that one is absolutely amazing but you know what happened with Aokiji so he can't be right now my best admiral so there you have it guys I hope you like this this video review and I did a quick poll, poll and this one was the one I was winning first, so I decided to do it first. Second place, well, there's only like six votes right now, but I'm gonna do Rebecca now, and then I'm gonna do uh, Law. So I hope you like this this review, and hope I hope I can make some other ones today or maybe tomorrow, and. Hope you guys keep watching and you know the you know keep checking us on Facebook and on in our blog. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day.